Hey folks, Tim here, FT Lot. I just got back from uh, seeing the train show in Central City today and picked up a few things that I wanted to show you. Um, and then I'm going to show you my progress on my layout deconstruction project. Uh, but first, I went to that train show and I took some pictures of the layout that the uh, Eastern Iowa Model Railroaders Club has in a double wide trailer down there and it's a really neat layout so let's go ahead and just take some time and, and look at that layout quick and I'll come back and show you what I got at the uh, train show.
Okay, welcome back. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really nice. The guys running it were real friendly, and it's just a really nice size layout. I really, really like that one because there's a lot of trains running at the same time. It is a DC layout, two-line main line, I guess. And as you saw, there's plenty of trains running on there and lots of neat things. They've done a great job doing the scenery and making the scenes real interesting with a lot of animation and, and just different things like that. You could spend hours in that place looking at it and, and probably find something new every minute. So uh, really neat. Good, good job, guys. I always like looking at that. And I hope you enjoyed watching it here. Um, now let's get on to what I ended up getting at the train show today. I found some of these reefer cars here. Kind of have some other ones and was just adding to the collection here. Found them for a pretty good deal and thought what the heck. So I got four more of those. Now for the one that I've been looking for for quite a long time and finally found it at the show so I had to buy it. It is... Yes, it is a Cato GE C44-9W, the Dash 9, in the Southern Pacific Bloody Nose Paint Scheme. Um, I've, I've wanted to buy one of these for the longest time, but I could never find one that was decently priced. Um, and it does not have sound. It is DC right at the moment. And, uh, of course, I am going to patch it to the Union Pacific. And I haven't decided if I'm going to put sound in this one or not, but I really wanted to weather this one up because these engines are usually super dirty, so this is going to be right up my alley. So I'm really excited to get this. It was uh, a great find, and like I said, I was very amazed with... <laughs> When, when I found it and how much I paid for it. So, um, yeah, real excited about this. Then I also found uh, two um, DCC ready, these uh, Walter Shinohara Code 83 um, switches. These are number fours. I found two of those. And then I got um, number sixes, a left and a right hand. And of course, they're all DCC ready. The guy threw in some chunks of some bridge track. Um, paid ten bucks a piece for these switches, so four switches, which I thought, you know, pretty darn good deal for ten bucks a piece. They're brand new and they're DCC ready, so I don't have to do the wiring myself. So yeah, found a lot of good deals. Really had a lot of fun. Um, let's uh, let's take a look at what we've done on the layout here. Okay, let's take a look at the layout. And that's all been removed over there. That whole corner has been taken out. Um, so, my next step is to clean it up, prep the walls, get them painted, get the floor painted, get some of this other stuff out of here get the insulation put up and then I can start building my bench work again for that helix over here in the corner. Well that's it guys. Uh, hope you liked the video of the uh, Eastern Iowa uh, Model Railroad Club there layout and some of the purchases I made here today. Had a really good time at the show. Really love the fact that I can get out and do these things. Uh, and I'm pretty excited about the progress on my layout. Hopefully we can get things cleaned up here and, and start moving forward so I can start running trains again. That's my key. So we'll get the trains back on the tracks. So um, as always, thanks for watching. And until the next video. I'm out.